Hi and welcome to Literary Hype. I am Stephanie, your Literary Hype Woman. It's now April. I love spring because it means no more winter. I really don't like winter. It is cold. It is dreary. It makes me sad. I don't like it. I like the sun. I like warmth. I like spring much better. It's a new month. It is time for a new reading list. And that means I have to confront how I did in March. Um, before I, before we go to the uh, the video of what I accomplished from the TBR list, um, I just I just want to defend myself a little bit and say that I did have three Comic Cons in four weeks, um, and that's a lot. And also at that time, my um, husband moved in, and I had to get used to having a whole other person and a furry toddler. So, um, don't judge too harshly. My apologies to anybody who thought that I was gonna do well in March. I am sorry. I had a really bad reading slump. It took me 15 days to finish one book. I am sorry. And then when I did start reading, I wasn't reading books from the TBR game for some reason. I just went off on a tangent. I don't know what was wrong with me. I am sorry. With that being said, it is now time to craft a new list, so let's get rolling. Welcome to April. First, we gotta see how many rolls I'm gonna have this month. Looks like that's a 60, so we'll be rolling for 60 books this month. April Fools, not doing that. But in reality, I'll be rolling a D8, and we have five. Now it's time to bring out Daenerys and get to rolling for the books. Starting out with the three. Let's go with, yeah, we'll start in this corner. As usual, one, two, three. And it is a microphone. A pick from the Edelweiss shelf. Roll number one is from my Edelweiss shelf. And so for that, I'm selecting Late Bloomer by Maisie Eddings. She is a longtime friend of literary hype. I have talked about um, almost every single one of her books on this channel. And that is only because I read A Brush With Love before I started the channel. Otherwise, but I mean, we did talk about it in our interview. So I guess I have, in fact, talked about all of her books. Um, she first told me about Late Bloomer when she was still writing it. Um, and now it is finally coming out in the world like two years later. <laughs> uh, publishing is slow in case you didn't know that. Publishing is very slow. Um, so now it's two years later, Late Bloomer is finally coming out. She's coming to St. Louis on tour, so we finally get to meet in person. This is a very exciting time, so Late Bloomer is at the top of my April reading list. Roll number two is a 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Spotlight. Orange cover. Roll number two is a book with an orange cover, and for that I am selecting One Year Ago in Spain by Evelyn Skye. She's also a friend of the Literary Hype channel. 
with we talked about two of her books so far on here and I am sure that I'm going to be raving about this because I love her writing. Um, so I don't really remember much about what this is about. I just saw someone get it at the Book Oracle at Emerald City Comic Con and therefore I had to have it so I kept trying until I got it which only took one more chance. Uh, so it took me two days to win it from the Book Oracle but I won it and that's all that matters. Roll number three for April is a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get a microphone. Something gifted to you. Roll number three is something that was gifted to me. And I really wanted to cheat and do something that was gifted to me by a publisher. But I did not, as much as I really wanted to. Or something that was gifted to me by myself. Because those are the main places I get books from. Myself and publishers. <laughs> But I did some poking around on my shelves and did find a Wishlist Wednesday book fairy pick that I did receive that I have not gotten to yet. I did pick it for a game before, but I didn't actually get around to reading it. So we're going with The Deal by L. Kennedy. It's hockey romance. And I have the Gram Effect, so I really need to read this and get through this series so I can move on to the Gram Effect. I have so many books that I want to read. The struggle is so real. I need more hours, okay? I need more time in a day so I can read. Roll number four is a 19. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh. False alarm, subtract one roll. Whoo. That would have taken away my roll and ended the game, but since I'm trying to keep it close to what the actual roll is, we'll go again. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A speaker. Friends to lovers. Roll number four gave me friends to lovers, and for that I'm selecting Mistakes We Never Made by Hannah Brown. You might know Hannah Brown from The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, or Dancing with the Stars, or Special Forces, World's Toughest Test. She's done a lot of reality TV. Um, this is her fiction debut, and there may be some shenanigans. But it is a friends to lovers, or so the back implies. It's uh, friends to almost to hating each other to lovers, so it counts, right? Either way, I'll be reading it, because shenanigans. Oh, screw that overhyped card. We're gonna roll again for five anyway. 20! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, this may have been a bad decision, y'all. Book binge! One book must be finished in under 24 hours. Since that's an overhyped card, I have to roll to get an actual book. 19. I'm rolling really high today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. A spotlight. A white spine. Roll number five provided me with a book binge, which means I need to read a book this month in under 24 hours, which basically means I need to hide myself from my husband for a full day to do this. But it's fine. We can do this. this the, we can make that happen. And the second half of roll five is a white spine. And so for my white spine, which also has a entirely white back, so I cannot tell you anything about this book, is Song of Six Realms by Judy I. Lynn. Um, I got this at Y'all Fest, and she's gonna be at Y'all West. So I'm just doing my due diligence in preparing for any potential shenanigans that could arise while we're there. Which reminds me, I still need to book my flight and hotel. Future Stephanie, take note. Okay. Anyway, A Song of Six Realms. Um, I don't know what this book is about, since again, it has nothing on the back. Um, and I did not do any, like, looking anything up. I am trying to get this done rather quickly. And going on way more rambling tangents than I normally do. So clearly I'm not doing a great job at speeding things up. Any hoozles. Um, but uh, Judy Eileen is the author of A Magic Steeped in Poison, which was a Barnes & Noble... Um, Book of the Year? Was, was it Teen Book of the Year? I think it was Teen Book of the Year. 
It was book of the book of it won a book award from Barnes and Noble. So it's she's obviously good. So I'm excited. Okay, that's all there is to it. And if you remember the February game, which I really don't want to remember, but I did remember. Um, I did have a prompt of pre-order a book and read it in the month it comes out. I pre-ordered Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. And then the art came into my store and so I, I had no self-control and I grabbed it. So this was going to be on the list for the month anyway. I'm just able to get like a week's head start on it because I do have the arc. I've loved every Abby Jimenez book that I have touched so I'm sure this will be no different. I've seen a lot of people talking about this being their favorite of her books which is very high marks so I'm excited to dive in. And bonus book! I asked my friends over on the Literary Hype broadcast channel what book they wanted to buddy read this month and the nominee that got the most reactions was The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. There was actually a couple Sarah Adams books on that list, but The Cheat Sheet is the one that got the most reactions. So that is the one we're going with. If you would like to be part of the Buddy Read chat, uh, look it up on Instagram. The link to do that is down in the description to the Buddy Read sign up. So sign up there. And I'll get you added to the chat. As always, don't forget to drop your prediction of how many points I'm going to score this month in the comments. I do keep an eye on these things. There might be some prizes involved. So if you have not done that before, maybe give it a crack this time. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you've not done so already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.